Hello, we're at the birthday glam get ready with me using the sugar pill 10th anniversary palette here. Alright, uh moisturize these dry lips and I'm priming my eyes with the Visart eyeshadow primer. I'm about to grab my hair clip. out of my face. Use that. There it is. Let me get my hair clip here. Clip this. What little hair we have out of our face. Okay, so since we're primed, I'm gonna go in with um this pill kitty. It's a weird name. Okay. Using the elf Mini Melt bling, Blending Brush. I quite like these. I'm just going to take it on my crease. Gosh, I forgot how powdery these things were. It is a nice shade. I do have Boxy Charm coming. I just recently sub subscribed. You know, got my subscription going. And I thought I only was only getting the February box. But I'm getting the January box too, which comes in sometime today. So I'll probably have that up and filmed for tomorrow. Along with some January favorites. This uh, Fizer primer is pretty good. I got it blends out, like the shadow blends on it. Hmm. So I'm gonna go in with the Mini Melt Eye, con eye Contour Brush. Is that what they're called? Well, we're not contouring with it. I think, um. I don't know if I want to use green or this. It's between using the Smack Green, this shade, or the bright blue. I think the blue is calling my name. All right, we're going with the blue. It's settled. And that blue is called After Party 2020. <laughs> Ain't nobody having a party after 2020. I'm just gonna take that right over. It's a bright heckin' blue. Let's do it to the other eye. Go back in with that purple a little wee bit. It's like, yeah, I forgot to wash this thing. I always, I forgot to wash a little brush too. Just one little mini brush. Go back in that purple. Using that same brush. Tore 
best to blend it together. Looking better than I thought. <laughs> go, so go. Now we're going to do what I do with that brush. Don't worry, I've got them all over with me today. There it is. We're going to conceal for our cut crease. One of my favorite things to do. My cat's about to take off my eyeliner. And I'm just pulling the shape of my eyeball. Okay, she's going to the bed. That's a good place for her. It's a goose. Okay, that's done. And then we're going where here we are. Here's the mini elf mint melt eyeshadow packer and brush. We're going to the shade. We're going to use this one right here. Should I look at that? It's like the shade of the brush. Beautiful. Woo, pink mint. Really powdery. Do the same to this side. <laughs> These shadows are real powdery, so if you don't like a powdery product. Shadow, this is not for you. She got some heckin' powder. Let's see. I think I actually might use that green. Yeah, I'm gonna use that powder. That matte green. So we're gonna go into the matte green. Use that packer brush. I'm just gonna kind of disappointing. Oh, okay. Just a little build up is good. Hmm. Build it up on the other side. So at first, it's a little disappointing. You know, once you build it up, you're not disappointed. Hmm. I keep losing what's in front of my face. Okay, so. Go back into that mint shimmer, silvery shade. Just a wee bit here. Really tapping into the shade, sweet cheeses. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with the purple. Just a slight tap. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a wipe it, clean up the edges. That's how I would so normally clean it up. I forgot my sponges the heck. What the heck? There we go. Had to replace these all the time. My cats like to run off with them. Why you ask? They don't use them. They think I've got them a new toy. Although they have countless of toys. How about pumpkin? Wow, it looks like it's disappearing. Wait for me to point that out. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pasto Dream Eyeliner in Lavender. Let's see how that looks with this. That went on nice. I have high super watery. Now we're just gonna wow, that's pretty. I see a little light to twirl on my GRM birthday. Birthday glam. Anybody picking up a, a gloss from Jaffa, Jeffrey's Thaws, and watch, I might pick up one. Because I'm not a big gloss person, so one will be good. There's just a little cloudy on the left side. That's okay. All right, so we got that. We're doing that. Prima. Oh, we got us going everywhere right here. Probably should clean up my hand. Okay. We're using the Mint Melt Cooling face primer. Smell isn't too strong in this. It has like a bit of a tack, but not too much of a tack. It's kind of like their jelly pop primer, but with a mint smell. So I don't know if I'll end up liking this. This is only my second time using this. We'll see. <laughs> I didn't like the Jelly Pop one because no matter how much of a thin layer I did, my foundation just rolled off. 
with it. So we'll see. Okay. That's why I have a white belt. Now we're going to do our foundation. Using the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Primer. I'm not talking a whole lot. More of like rambling gibberish. Oh, and sniffles, because, well, that's who I am. Listen, it looks too light right now, but once we're done, it won't even matter. We got one pump, covered the whole face. Looking a little ghostly. A little ghostly, 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 ghostly. So I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm so pale. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this milk powder, translucent medium. It's still a little hard to get out of here, by the way. Just gonna point that out. But I've discovered I just lean it like that. Comes out way better for me. I don't like the shifter. Gives me some heckin' problems. I'll be right back. I have to blow my nose. It's okay, I'm back. I was a little nuts still, but that's okay. You know, I'll come down right at the end. Anybody else always have to go blow their nose? When they're doing their makeup? Is it just me? See, when I do my makeup on this side, I find it just a little bit hard to do because not being able to see and whatnot. Now we're starting to match our skin tone there. So it's always good to have like a darker shade of setting powder. And a lighter shade comes in handy. See if I just do that like that and get the setting powder out nice and good. First, it looks like I'm not. Oh no, you know what? I meant to do some concealer because I wanted to try out this concealer brush I have that came with one of my glam light. My glam light little haul I, I had in the mail. Get three other palettes the, both the painter, painter palettes and the keg palette. 
guess we're not concealing today. Okay. Oh, gonna... oh, yeah. Got her all. Now I'm just going to fluff her. I do like how that lid is, though. It makes it less messy. Okay. Well, I was going to use my Kevin Aquan concealer with this. Let's look at that. That's cool looking. It didn't work out. Another day. Now we're going to. I do mine weird. Ooh, we're a little wobbly. I need to get a new ring light. I'm going to this shade right here for finishing powder. Actually, let's use the darker one. With uh, this Real Techniques brush, 002. And we're just going to. Sweep it over our face. We're gonna give my Too Faced one a break. Try another finishing powder. I know most people wait until after to use their finishing powder. I don't. I want to meld in my current base product, so. For me, I just use finishing powder right after I'm done with my base. Because it works. That's up sex and powdery too, man. Okay, we'll just put that over in our pile of new stuff. Here's what it's looking like so far. The up close view. <coughs> oh, goodness. It's my actual, oh. Okay, I'm just having problems today. Birthday curse, maybe. Or I'm overcrowded. Those could be it, too. That's okay. So we're going to use our Marc Jacobs Tantalize and Bronzer, which I have no idea where this brush came from. I've had it for like the last six, seven years. Six years. I've had it for like the last six years I've been doing my makeup. I don't know, like the past couple years I've gotten good. Anyway, well, best we're getting. So we're just gonna bronze the forehead. As you can tell, I'm not a very contouring contour person here, but I do like the bronze. I would say I don't bronze as much when I have a my right shade foundation or a darker foundation, because I don't. I do. <laughs> Same amount of bronzing, whatever I have on my base. Who I am. Apparently, I live for bronzer. Alright, so we're getting there. 
Got the bronzing done. Going in for the blush. We're using MAC Diva Don't Care. Using this SL Miss Glam Round Blush P40. I like this for blush. I'm just gonna tap into it. Ooh, we're getting there. Now we're gonna take this uh just this highlight brush. This is the uh, Walmart brand one. This is nice, I like this. We're going to the NARS Orgasm loose powder highlight. Careful open it up. I should shake gets everywhere. Paid four bucks for this bad boy. I'm just gonna Real light highlighter. Hmm. Okay. We can, I'm gonna have a mess to clean up, guys. Forgot my brush. So I did forget a brush. I just put the highlight up. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so we're gonna use that same same highlight using the JS13. I think that two more. Well, at last, I don't know because my I um I have leaky eyeballs. We're gonna put in our highlight on our cheek with our finger. I had said someone tell me why do you do why do you use the brush for you're just gonna use your finger because my pretty sure the heat from my finger just kind of like I don't know what it does but it does something. So we're gonna do brows with ABH brow mascara. As you can see, my brows are pretty full, so I just want to give it some more color. We're just gonna get it to the other side. So there's that. So now what we do, setting spray. And I just go over with a sponge I use powder with. I'm just tapping, I'm just tapping it into the skin. See, at first you didn't think it was gonna work out, did you? I know, me neither, but look at us, here we are. So that's when I just take the hair down, swoop it up, and now we're just going to, oh, 
Still need to make a wipe. I am all over the place over here. Here I thought I had everything going good. Clean up our lip. We're going to use the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Lip Liner and Boundless Berry. I just broke. I don't know where that piece went. That's okay. Okay, so now that we have that all done, let's kill the end again. Oh, what a piece with guys. Well, at least it's not my chair. Or on my new jacket. Imagine already killing my new jacket. What a rip. Okay, we're gonna go over this in the gloss Heaven's Gate from JSC. I'm just gonna And that is our look. That is the end of my get ready with me birthday glam. Kind of matching my shirts, you know. I uh, hope to see you in my next one. Bye.